Uh, what's up guys? Welcome back to another video. Uh, I'm sure plenty of people have made videos at this point about the new K Heavy Hash coin called Cedra coin. Uh, it's been out since February 16th and it pretty much just got a bunch of traction today slash like early early yesterday and just going over how to mine it nothing too crazy and potentially look at some profits but to start it got listed on a mining pool stats it's here under new coins if you go to like the right side at somewhere it disappeared i think for uh so i zoomed in a bunch but yeah, so far, net network hash rate around 2.7 petahash. It's been jumping around a lot. People have been renting out tons and tons of hash rate. So, And these spikes here for mining for people is um, they're doing server upgrades. So partially is renting and server upgrades. So their pools have been kind of iffy. But hopefully with their new servers and stuff, it'll be a lot better. I know people were reporting no balances but blocks are still going through and your balance will update at some point I personally used xpool miner as mine I had uh, the KS0 on it both of them and then I also rented out some hash rate and they're also listed here as well um, in the beginning mining for people didn't really work too well with KS0 so then I used xpool miner and it worked fine there but at this point, I've rented out a bunch. And if we go to my wallet, or not wallet, but address, uh, you'll see that I found uh, 1,400 blocks plus some on the pool. So I did rent out 30 terahash while the hash rate was around 400 to 500 for around two hours. So I have paid around 740,000 plus all the pools since this is pre-mine 20% and split up a certain way I forget the exact percentages but you'll also get 50% bonus and that applies to all of these pools they will all get 50% extra bonus and that's kind of on like a two to three day schedule so stuff that I've mined last couple days I'll get paid out bonus like hopefully today or tomorrow and then if you mine yesterday or today hopefully within the next two to three days you'll get those that 50% bonus in the next two to three days. So, and if you really want to GPU mine this, there's some caveats. So, you can't just use any miners that are current. You have to use older, uh, like releases of miners that still support the K heavy hash. So, SRB miner, you have to use version 244 because on 245 it removed algorithms casp was listed as one of these so if you really want to gpu mine this which i advise against because ice river a6 are a thing you have to use 244 going to lol miner same thing you have to use 176 or before i, I believe someone also said 176a works as well but any releases before that gpu mine uh regal you have to use 192 uh one Point ten removed K heavy. So if you wanna use Regal, you have to use 1.9, just so everyone knows. I'm not sure if other people have covered this, but you can't just use most recent GPU miners as they most likely don't support K heavy hash anymore. Future me recording video, I forgot to include this part with the Ice River ASICs. Um basically same thing, point your ASIC at the pool like you normally would. It's pretty easy. Add your pool address, the stratum, TCP, port, wallet, dot worker, usually unless specified otherwise. For M4P pool, you should at least try to do D equals 64, just like it's written here in the password field. That sets the static difficulty at the pool because iSurf or ASICs use some sort of specific internal diff, so having the pool set a super high diff and the ASIC using an internal diff it'll just mess things up so try D equals 64 if you're using KS zeros or KS zero pros I believe KS ones twos threes 
and all that. They all work well on pools just fine. I think this is only an issue for KS0 or the KS0 Pro. So just quickly going over that, how to set up the pool and at and wallet worker. Super simple, just like you normally would for mining Caspa. Just wanted to make people aware. I'm glad this is here, even if it doesn't really do that well. Uh, there's still, it's another coin that Ice River ASICs and Bitmain ASICs can mine. That's not just Caspa. Kind of just feels like point ASIC here and forget. So um, it's nice to have diversity, even if this project happens to not blow up like Caspa did in terms of price and value. But it's just nice to have diversity and see new things popping up. So. But that's, that's it. I just wanted to cover this quickly and make a video about it. So I'll see you guys in the next one.